just because the stuff that I've been through, just, you know, knowing that I was strong and I, I, I made that opportunity to come back. A different running back? I mean, we've only seen a few carries. How long is it going to take before, I guess, we see the, the old Delta? You've led this team in yards per carry every year. Yeah, I, I was saying that same thing to myself after the game. I didn't do the things that I, I, I have been doing, but... I told it. I told myself it take time. Don't rush it. You know, I didn't rush my rush my weight and getting back into you know playing. So you know everything coming back to me little by little. So I look forward to just getting back to myself. And when it do come, I was planning on taking off then. How much of that getting it back comes from actual game experience? It's day? it's not even really game experience. It's just more feeling more comfortable out with my teammates. Like um like in practice, I play better. I feel like I play better in practice than in my games right now because I'm getting more comfortable around my coaches again and um around my teammates. You know after this, the um situation that happened with me, you know I felt like I let my teammates down, and now that I'm getting back around them and you know they seeing you know ain't nothing really changed about me. I'm still the same person. It just you know I learned the valuable lesson. In life and um you know when i get back out there on the field it just just got to cherish it you gotta you gotta have fun you know enjoy it when you mess everybody gonna make mistakes but you know when you do make mistakes you just gotta learn from them. even that's on the field and off the field coaches say you provide a spark how do you do that um coming from where i come from a lot of people you know try to look at other people and see what they're not doing. I mean, you know, see how, how can they do things better than them. I don't look at it like that. You know, I just be myself. And then I see that I bring different things to other than my teammates. Well, I, that's my role. I play my role well. Like, basically, for example, when I wasn't playing, I was, a, you know, always loud, you know, making sure I keep everyone up because I know that I wasn't going to get out there at that time. So I made sure that I got my teammates ready and made sure they was ready. So when they, they time do come on the field, you know, they take care of what they have to take care of. I never look at somebody and try to put them down. I always want to bring somebody up because when I was at my lowest points, my teammates was there for me and I can vouch for that. When you entered the game against Rutgers, did you have any butterflies? No, I was hyped. I don't get butterflies no more. The butterflies, you know, you get butterflies at the beginning of the game, just walking into the stadium, seeing all the people out there. But when it's, you know, going against the defense, reading the defense, I'm calm. I sit back there, take a deep breath. But, you know, <laughs> everything else is just, it's just really just natural. I feel like it's just natural. I've been playing this game since I was five years old. And, you know, now it's just, you just got to go out there and play, give it your all. I never really prepared myself to redshirt because me and Coach D, we had those talks. That, um, you know, we just going to take it week by week. So, you know, I really never looked at it. I was going to redshirt. He told me anything could happen, you know, just be ready. So as he told me that, I just made sure I stay focused on, you know, taking care of my um, academics and um, being on time to meetings and stuff like that and lifts like that and still just giving that spark to my teammates so they don't look at me like I'm down. And, you know, I had my down times. You know, they seen me when I was down, had my head down. But my teammates came up to me and was like, that's not you. You need to be that person that you are and, you know, walk around yelling, screaming, let everybody know you're doing good. Because when I'm doing good, I feel like everyone else is doing good because everybody know my, my story now. But, you know, it's really not just about me. It's, it's bigger than me, and I realize that now. So when I do go through things in life, you know, and I'm still going through things, but I tend to appreciate where I'm at because life could be much worse. What's special?